excited to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. Before we dive into this powerful episode, please remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a five-star rating on iTunes and continue hustling. This episode is sponsored by Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Moguls, Chiropractic Rocks, Pure Cairo Notes, Titronics, doTERRA, Sherman College of Chiropractic, New Patients in a Box, The Influencer Authority Podcast Training, and Prime Spine Consulting. Let's hustle. Hey guys, welcome to episode 340 of the Cairo Hustle Podcast. I'm your co-host, Luke Millette, and here's your host, Jim Chester. So today we have the opportunity of interviewing Dr. Thaddeus Gala, and if you want to hear how to create more health, wealth, and impact, stay tuned. Welcome back. This is another episode of the Cairo Hustle Podcast. Today I have Thaddeus Gala on with me. This is number two with him. I'm really, really blessed to have him on. Um, episode 340. Uh, but before we get going, um, and before I acknowledge him further and uh, invite everybody onto this episode, um, we set some ground rules over the past uh, six months of how we operate with Cairo Hustle. Um, we protect free speech in chiropractic, number one. Number two, we protect the sacred trust in chiropractic. If you don't know what that is, go do a search for it, please. And uh, we do support subluxation based chiropractic and the intelligence and universal intelligence. And now that we've set the ground rules for this episode, Dr. Thaddeus, welcome to the show. Great to be here, man. This is awesome. Let's do it. Let's help yeah. people save time, make money, and, and uh, help more lives. Yeah, I, I saw a video you made today. Uh, it was 30 minutes. I saw the first two minutes of it. So um, I, I kind of want you to share some of the ideas that you, you were talking about on there. You were talking about how to create a million dollars yearly in just 40 minutes. Uh, well, you know, a million dollars in 40 hours. I mean, you can, do it, you can do it in 40 minutes. You can do it in 40 minutes if you really have your systems down. Um, yeah, you, you can do you can do a million. You can do a million in 40 minutes, but a million dollars in 40 hours is a little more reasonable. Well, before we get into talking about how to save people time and money and how to make more money and wealth, let's tell people about you, the chiropractor. Um, I know it's been a while since we've had you on our show, but uh, Thaddeus, the chiropractor, um, Tell us your origin story and how you got to where you are today a little bit. Yeah. Um, pr pretty simply, my, my mom was real sick when I was young, uh, you know, and so it was, it was, it was a pursuit to try to, a pursuit to try to save her life. Uh, we grew up out in the middle of the woods, no running water, no electricity, no roads, no phones. You know, we had electricity maybe half the time. My parents pitched a tent and started building the house. And when I was around 10, that's when she became disabled. She, you know, all the doctors said she'd be in a wheelchair the rest of her life. She couldn't use her arms. She was on full disability. And that sent me, I didn't realize it at the time, but that set me on a path to pursue natural health care. So I went into chiropractic, uh, studied under Dr. David Seaman, Dr. Lauren Cordain, um, Dr. Dan Murphy, a lot of those, a lot of, a lot of those smart genius guys out there and started, you know, I, I would actually cluster book my patients in student clinic so I could go back and sit in on classes again. And, and just, just hear the information again on, on different classes. I loved it that much. And, um, and so then uh, now fast forward, my mom's in her 70s. She just started running and now she wins 5Ks in her age group. Uh, she just started running a couple of years ago. She's off of all of her, all of her pain meds. Um, you know, she's in complete remission and she has to find younger and younger friends just to hang out with. So that, that was my origin story. Um, and then uh, when I actually, you know, I, I now have a handful of clinics. I oversee about 50,000 patient visits a year. Uh, I work about 12 hours a year on it, or uh, on the clinics. And um, my, my second career started about six, seven years ago um, when I looked down and after working 12 hour days and busting my butt, I thought, well, how is it that I owe a quarter million dollars in taxes, but I only have $30,000 in the bank account. And since then, I, uh, I've been learning about the money game and how to not only make more money, but then also how to reduce and eliminate taxes. And I understood um, in that process that wealthy people don't pay taxes and they make money tax free. And I know that may sound weird and people always say, Oh, death and taxes, but doctors said my mom would be dead and she's not now. So death and taxes doesn't hold weight. And uh, when you realize other people are doing it, uh, then I think, I think, um, you know, it's just, it's a formula, right? Just like chiropractic is a formula. So is, is understanding the money game. So those are my, those are my two things that I'm, that I'm playing in now. Well, I'm just going to turn back a few chapters and 
I'm really curious. I never asked you this, but how did you end up in Palmer, Florida? Uh, I went to undergrad at Hawaii. So I went, my first year was at university of Oregon. And I still remember I sat down with my buddy one night and we were best, best friends. And we were both at university of Oregon. It was one of these dreary, cold, rainy, you know, nights in Eugene, Oregon. And we looked at each other and we're like, dude, we can do whatever we want, man. Why the hell are we in rainy, cold Oregon? And he's like, I'm going to San Diego. And I said, I'm going to Hawaii. So, so we both, we split. I mean, we still talk today, but um, he went one way. I went another. And then I got in Hawaii and then I, uh, I, I started getting a little bit of homesick. So I came back to Southern Oregon and then I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to go into chiropractic school. And, uh, and I, I looked everywhere I could and it was the warmest place I could find where there was a chiropractic college. <laughs> that was that was my number one criteria. <laughs> well, I, I think it's really cool that you're Palmer trained. Um, I grew up in Davenport, Iowa. A lot of people yeah. that watch our show know that, and that's the fountainhead, the birthplace of chiropractic. And I there think it it's really, I think it's really cool that they opened up uh, a college down in Florida because you're right, Davenport, Iowa is uh, it's the cold land, and uh, it's amazing that people make it through a chiropractic, you right. Know, degree yeah. there because yep. it's it's not a very fun place to live <laughs> yeah it's um yeah i i would i would i would i would not want to be there and that's why i think <laughs> yeah be, being being in florida now here's the here's the thing i love you know florida's warm it's great um i don't know if i could live in palmer uh, live where palmer is in port orange and in, in daytona long term because you know when, when the highest mountain is a speed bump it just uh, my, my my blood's in oregon so it's hard it's hard for me to get used to flatland like that <laughs> Yeah. So, so um, one of the themes that I think that's really important for us today is consolidation and growth. And what you've done, even in your practice model, is you're learning how to consolidate with the efforts that you're um, yeah. picking up from real estate and through investment and growth and wealth. And now you're learning how to take that model and actually get more out of the things that you have. Because a lot of chiropractors are like, oh gosh, I'm going to go out there and get myself uh, an associate and I'm going to go out there and get myself a franchise and I'm going to start this and I'm going to do that. But what they don't realize is that that's, that takes a lot of hands and it takes a, a, it takes a lot of work it, and it spreads you pretty thin. Yeah. So yeah. how, how have you been able to turn that back into uh, a condensed growth model? Yeah. Um, finding the right person. I mean, and, and not to oversimplify it, but to simplify it, it's finding the right person it's, it's like the phrase, I think it's, I think, I think this comes from Joe Polish, which um, I, I think I might actually be there this weekend at, at the Genius Network annual event. Um, but I, I, um, I love the phrase that he says, you know, hire the best and cry once. <laughs> I mean, really, that's it. I mean, I mean, r rather than going out and trying to figure out how to get new patients, how to hire an associate, how to do all this, um, it really is hire, hire the person that can do all that for you. But I think the problem is, is most people don't have the courage to, to step into that. Um, and so they keep thinking, oh, I don't have the, I, you know, Thaddeus, that, that's easier for you to say, but I don't have the money to do that. Or, yeah, you know, Thaddeus, that's easy to say, but where do you find someone like that? Well, you know what? Like, I wasn't, like, no one was born with any of that. So you just, like, you got to figure that shit out. Like, you just, you just got to do it, man. And so all those are just excuses for why you don't have the courage to do it. And, um, and a lot of people look for confidence without paying the, paying the price of courage. Mm. And a lot of people think, oh, this, well, this isn't quite right. Or, I, or, well, maybe when the kids are a little bit older, or maybe, you know, once they get this bill paid off, it's like, th those are just all bullshit stories we tell ourselves. Like you just do it and you're, you're going to figure it out. Cause think about other things in your life that you, that you, that you've just done and it's worked out. Mm. You know I mean? I moved, I moved across the country to go to chiropractic school and like, I just figured it out. Like you just, you make it happen. I love how you reference Nike right there. Um, Phil Knight, genius with marketing, just do it. I yeah. love how you reference Joe Polish there. Um, what was it? Hire once hire and the cry best, hire the and, best and cry once. Yeah. And something I picked up from listening to him over hundreds of episodes of his podcast was um, easy, lucrative and fun. Yeah. And I think that that's a part too, that people don't realize is yeah. some of the stories that they tell themselves, they don't have to be hard stories. It yeah. can be fun. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, here's the thing. I, I look back at some of the, some of the biggest moves that I made that really made, moved the needle for me. And they were some of the most financially stretching. Hmm. And, 
And you have to be okay eating last. If if you're leading here and you really want to make a change, be okay eating last. Like it, it, I mean, change is uncomfortable and you have to get really comfortable being uncomfortable and stepping forward anyways. And I think I shared the story maybe the other day, but you know, like when I, when I was trying to buy back my time, I think we were finally, you know, after years of school and chiropractic school and, you know, loans and all this stress and everything. And finally I felt like I made it, you know, I was, I, I was making 13 grand a month and I was like, Oh my gosh, I made it. This is awesome. Hallelujah. And at that point, after working over a decade, and I finally was making more money than I ever made in my life, I voluntarily took a pay cut down to 3K. So I went from making all this money to only 3K. Why? Because that afforded me to bring in another associate that then freed up my time. And with that, then I was able to spend more of my time networking, meeting people, um, growing, building, developing myself. So that I created more value and provided more value in the marketplace, which then led to hiring some key team members that now that now uh, manage the clinics to where I only spend about an hour on it a month. Well, I think it's it's really impressive to see that you've been able to find the key to your golden handcuffs, and that's something I said to you yesterday when we were talking. Is yeah, so many chiropractors, uh, the adjusting tables, their their handcuff, and they're yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, there's not. And I think that, but that's the big story is you understood that if you work in that model, the first four months out of your year, you're working for free. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, I mean, here's the thing, the average person, if they, if they, have, if they're paying 35% in taxes, they're working January, February, March, and April, just they're waking up every single day, just so they can pay taxes. So you got to figure out the tax game because taxes, it's a six to one for every dollar that you save in taxes. On average, it's it's equivalent of bringing six dollars six dollars on top line revenue. So if you're paying a hundred thousand in taxes, that's the equivalent of, of six hundred thousand dollars in top line revenue. That's why I love creating tax free wealth and tax free money because it's a multiple. So like one of the properties I bought that I did I, that video this morning of how to make a million dollars in forty hours, um, you know, you can watch on that video. But but what, one of the videos that I did this morning was uh, I was it was talking about it that. Um, you know, I pulled out about five hundred thousand dollars out of one of my properties this last summer, tax free. Pulled out five hundred thousand dollars, tax free. I bought the building for one point six; it's now worth two point five. I pulled out about five hundred thousand dollars, tax free because it's a loan. The rents cover the mortgage, so it's not an issue. And you got to think. So let's do let's do let's do a six six on that. So that's the equivalent of a three million dollar business. So so here's the thing, like. Understanding the money game is how you build significant tax-free wealth in perpetuity. Well, that gets us to the next talking point. As people get a chance to get into a room with you here um, with the group that you started called The Guardians, and you've been doing these little pop-ups across the country here, and you've been offering people opportunities to learn about investing and in different uh, verticals that they can get into. Um, yeah. Why is it important for people to uh, take the opportunity to get into these rooms with you and to start learning these techniques? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd be self-serving if I said you got to get in the room with me. I mean, you can get in the room anywhere. I mean, of course, you're welcome to, you know, if, if you think you want to be in the room with, with myself and a lot of other people, you're welcome to. Um, I, I, I pay tens of thousands of dollars a year to, 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 for two things. Number one is to, to get myself close to the to the people that are already doing what I want to do mm -hmm. and to show them respect that I, that I care for them, that I value them. And that, I, and, and when I, when I invest financially, I show up differently. So, cause I have a lot of people that message me like, Hey man, can I like, can I get, can I get this? Can I get that? And, and it's like, um, you know, or, or they, or they, they, they try to like, you know, sell me on something. And I'm like, well, I don't need that. You know, it's like, just write the check man and show up. So I think like it's, it, it's write the check for the person that you want to hang out with that you really love what they're doing that you can learn from. So if that's me, great. If it's not, then find that person. Um, my goal is to help people add 10 to 20 quality years to their life so they have more energy, add at least a million dollars passively net worth tax-free to their, to their bottom line every single year or more so that they can show up and make a bigger impact, whether it be philanthropic endeavors, taking care of their family, taking care of their team, creating more jobs, or whatever the case is. So it's, it's really helping people have the freedom to do what they want, when they want, 
with who they want and they only have to, only have to work if they want to. Hmm. Well, one of the things that I've always thought that people have told me before and pressed upon me is what you pay for, you pay attention to. Yeah. When you pay, you pay attention. Yep. hundred percent. And it might hurt a little bit, but the outcome is you get a new scenario for yourself. hundred percent, hundred percent. And that's it, man. I mean, I mean, gosh, one of the first people that I ever hired as a mentor, I was making three grand a month and I paid this guy eight grand for one day. One day of his time, I was making three grand a month. So I paid. So arguably, you got to think for if I was making three grand a month, you got to think at you know I, now I had low overhead. So for me to actually have eight grand, that was probably five to six months of work, and I paid this guy for one day of his time. Yeah, and that I, and that, and that completely transformed um, my my trajectory. And ever since then, I've just been trying to write bigger and bigger checks to get around more successful people, so I can learn I, from them. <laughs> You've made it to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. This episode is sponsored by Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Moguls, Chiropractic Rocks, Pure Cairo Notes, Titronics, doTERRA, Sherman College of Chiropractic, New Patients in a Box, the Influencer Authority Podcast Training, and Prime Spine Consulting. Let's hustle. Yeah. And I know that some of the themes that people talk about is, um, attention to new currency, but with chiropractic health is your wealth. Yep. And you don't get more days unless you take value in yourself and take value in the things that you do on a day to day basis. So 100%. maybe you well, can, I'll sh- oh, go ahead. Well, 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 so look at this, right? So there's, there, there's two, there's two ways to, to have that health, right? Because you're right. I mean, your health is, is your wealth. And here's the thing. You can either be sick. And so then you, then you're not enjoying your time or you're not able to take care of your, take care of your life and, and enjoy, do what you want. Or you, you may, let's say you die when you're 60 or you die when you're 70 or you die when you're 80 versus a hundred or 120. Um, now I'm not saying being a hundred or 120, like the typical 120, 20 year old or hundred or 120 year old. I'm saying, imagine being a hundred or 120 and feeling like you're 40 or 50. So to me, so to me that, that, that's, that's the, 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 what, what I'm looking for is how do we do that? Right. But here's the other thing. If you had, let, let's say you had another, an extra million dollars tax free, you can essentially buy back your time. Now, not literally, but yes, literally, meaning that if you had a million dollars and you could hire people to do everything for you, you've now just freed up your time. So for me, you know, when I was making 13 grand a month and for me to be able to, to take 10 of that and hire another chiropractor now, and, and it was great because this chiropractor, he really, really loved treating patients. And he really, really did not love running a business. So it was a perfect marriage, right? He's like, Thaddeus, you run the you run the business, you manage the staff, you do all that. I just want to come in and treat people. I think I maybe have five, six years left that I want to practice. I would just love to partner and not run the business. And I just really love treating patients. And and that was that filled his cup. So awesome. So I bought back about 60 hours a week of my time for 10K. Now I was still making three thousand, so I still I, so basically I had three thousand dollars for doing nothing, and I had all my time back that then I could use and invest in growing myself, building, etc. So I was able to buy my time back, um, and I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is that they spend a lot of their life and their money um, on tasks that they could that they could have some something or someone else do for them, so they can stay in their unique ability. Well, I know you've taken care of a lot of people since you become a chiropractor, including your mother which um, your mother's awesome. Really nice to meet her the first time. Um, and every Thank time you. I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I get a chance to meet her, she's been super sweet to me. Um, and you've talked a, a little bit about financial health. Um, let's talk about some of the things that you do. Um, how do you keep yourself on the up and up with your health? And what are some of the strategies that you do to keep yourself uh, vibrant and healthy? You got to read, man. You got to read. You got to consume. So... Um, you know, I surround myself with, with, I try to surround myself with, with intellectuals and the people that are doing what I want to do. So even like last night, right? So I, I was, I, I, I was promised I was make, make my girlfriend um, dinner last night. So as, as I'm making dinner, as, as I'm doing things, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm listening to podcasts. When mm-hmm. I go to the gym, I'm listening to other podcasts, be it marketing, 
be it uh, Mr. Free Speech, Joe Rogan, um, you know, or whatever the case may be, I'm, I'm, I'm consuming, con- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be very deliberate about the content that I consume. I can go on Facebook or TikTok and mindlessly scroll, or I can specifically go to, to only, so here's the thing, you got to be really liberal with the follow and unfollow button. <laughs> And, and, who, and, and who you're following and, and asking yourself, is this content that I'm consuming? Is this number one, the person that I want to be, is the person that's delivering this content have characteristics or traits that I want? And is, and is this going to move the needle on my goals? Because by listening and consuming it, you're going to naturally start adopting words, behaviors, thought patterns, ideas that are similar to them. It, I mean, you, 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 no, nobody can argue that. I mean, every psych, you know, nearly every psychologist would agree that behavior is is one of, if not the single biggest predictor of of um, uh, environments. Is sing- one of, if not the single biggest predictor of behavior. Mm-hmm. So well, you just got to surround yourself with the right playmates and the right playgrounds. I think it goes back to Bruce Lipton's work on epigenetics. Is the biology of belief? is when yeah. people put themselves yeah. in certain environments and they stop doing stuff. You know, a lot of times entrepreneurs or business people, they want to know what to do. Yeah. And yeah. I, I go right at them and say, what, make a list of things you need to stop doing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. And that's the thing, right? There's a great, there's a great, uh, you know, you know, self-assessment you can do with this where you basically write down, you know, all the things that you're doing in your day and have two columns, the stuff that I'm doing in my day that I love and the stuff that I'm doing in my day that I hate. And after you do all that, basically you look at it and you say, what's the one thing that I can do right now to start moving the things that I hate um, off this list altogether? So I'm only doing the things I really love. Like for me, the things that I really love to do is is read. And by read, I, I really, I should really say, listen, but I, I like to, I like to read content online uh, of, of different blogs or different, or different, um, content. I like to listen to, to, to really smart people. Um, I like to speak, I like to teach. So, t- and I like to research, so I like to research, I like to research and teach the, and, and I like to I like to build relationships. Those are the things that I like to do. I also like looking at real estate as well, but those are the main things that I want to do. And, and the thing that I really want to I want to like keep my unique ability and my time is focused on that because all of those things create massive potential upside opportunity on the back end for, for, for wealth creation, health creation, and being able to make a bigger impact. I feel like you might've spent some time, uh, studying some John D Martini work. A <laughs> little bit, some, <laughs> because, uh, that guy said, I'll do three things, travel, teach, and write. And, uh, I think yep. that that's your clarity on what you like to do is important. You know, yep. I have five values, connection, adventure, leadership, freedom, yep. and contribution. Yep. And when yep. people know who they are, then they don't live outside their value sets. Yeah. Just, and I think that's it, man. It's getting really clear, getting really, really clear on what it is that you want to do. And what, like you said, what you do not want to do, <laughs> and then put intentional efforts to, to make that your reality. So let's fast forward now. Um, it's February 8th, 2022. What are you doing today? And uh, what's next for you? Uh, right now, the biggest thing we're looking at is our annual retreat, April 25th through the 28th, uh, with a, a, a boatload of awesome, amazing, smart entrepreneurs from all walks of life that want to make a crap ton of money. They want to help. They want to help a crap ton of people, and they want to make a big impact. So the pe- people are thinking big. I mean, we have. Um, I, I think. I think we, we were talking about a little bit yesterday. We just. Uh, a few weeks ago, we just got confirmation that Gary V wants to come and speak this year. So he's going to be there. Um, we have uh, Natasha Graziano. We have a handful. We have a handful of other awesome, amazing entrepreneurs. So yeah. So if people are interested, they certainly can reach out, but that's what I'm excited about right, right now is the annual retreat. Well, I think the tenets of the foundations are fundamental to the guardians group that you started is to create more health, more wealth, and more impact. Yep. And, and when you, also say this a lot too, is when you create a new opportunity for yourself, you put yourself in a room full of new playmates. And when you, and when you get those new opportunities with these new people in your life, um, it gives you an up level, if you will, for what's possible. Yeah. Well, like for me, right. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to see about going down to Arizona this weekend to go to genius network. And, um, I, I, I just know 
I just know that I, I don't have any main problem that I'm solving. I have some goals that I want to, that I want to accomplish. And, but main thing for me is just going and showing up because I know without a doubt, I'm going to meet some amazing people and I'm going to, and I'm going to leave with some amazing ideas that may turn into something right away or may turn into something down the road. So I'm always trying to bloom flowers. I mean, I, I'm, I met, I met the, um, um, Jared Yellen at, at an event years ago. And we bumped into each other just recently. And he said, hey, Thaddeus, I love what you're doing. I love how you're able to help help entrepreneurs reduce and eliminate taxes. And, and I love how you do it without the IRA or the 401k or all or the whole health life insurance or any of those other, you know, kind of nonsense things. He said, I love what you're doing and how you how you do that. Let's get you in front of Grant Cardone. So I, you know, you had no idea that relationship might turn into something. And so now we're in, in, in discussions with with his right hand and, and Grant. Now, nothing may come of it. But the fact that we even had that opportunity, I wouldn't have had that opportunity if I hadn't met Jared Yellen years ago. Um, um, <coughs> excuse me. So to me, it's the right playmates, the right playgrounds, always be blooming flowers, always be looking for how you can provide value and, and how you can show up in a relationship and, and help other people out. So for me, when Jared said that, I'm like, gosh, Jared, this is awesome. You know, what can I do for you? What are you up to? You know, he told me about his 10, 10X incubator, how he's helping 10,000 tech companies. So if you're a tech company, check out uh, 10X um, Incubator with Jared Yellen. Um, they're helping launch and fund. They're helping fund and launch tech tech companies. Um, so check that out. So to me, yeah, it's just it's just getting in there and and having fun and and shaking hands and meeting people and sharing ideas and visions and dreams and making it happen. Well. Shout out to Jared. Um, he's one of our most popular episodes we've ever done of Cairo Hustle. Nice. Um, he's also been a huge contributor to me to networking me into great people. Yeah, so Jared's I, awesome. I, I could see why you guys would have a good resonance with each other. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Jared's wonderful. So I know we're coming up on the edge of our time together, but why is it so important for influencers? Because if we say that um, attention is a new currency, why is it so important for influencers to talk about the benefits of a chiropractic uh, regimen in their in their day to day life, or their weekly life, or their monthly life? Why is it important for influencers to have this conversation around chiropractic? Yeah, yeah. Uh, great question. I think um, it's kind of like the, it, to me. I, I see chiropractic as a secret, as a you know, kind of the secret weapon. Um, and of course, full disclosure. I mean, as a chiropractor, I'm biased, of course, but it's been <laughs> it's been my it's been my um, experience that typically there's two types of people. There's those people that love their chiropractor and there's those that have never been to a chiropractor. And I really do think that, that so many people have a preconceived notion or, or misconception of what chiropractic even is. And so they never step into it. And I really do believe and know that when people realize the benefits of it, that, that it falls into the same buckets as exercise, going to the dentist, eating healthy food, um, you know, anything else that we know is important to do because it maximizes our overall health life and our expression that it, it just becomes part of the, part of the, part of the, part of the routine. Well, when I was a kid, I was 16. I hurt myself playing high school football. My mom took me to Palmer college to get some x-rays on my shoulder. And, uh, the staff doctor over there asked if they could do x-rays on my spine too, to see if I had any subluxations. My mom said, yes. And from that point forward, I always knew that when I got adjusted, I performed better. I didn't know what a chiropractor was really doing because I was still in a juvenile mind. Right. But, right. but I knew that when I got adjusted, I was scoring goals. 100%. I knew that when I was adjusted, my hip didn't click. <laughs> I knew that when I was getting adjusted, I sprinted faster. Yep. So yep. I always knew that human performance was a derivative from this chiropractic adjustment. And I'd never wanted to go without it. And I didn't come from a family of money, but my mom would always make sure she put money aside to make sure that I could go in and get checked and adjusted before games and after games to make sure that I was tip top shape to perform because I told her how important it was to me to make sure that I was in alignment. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent, man. I mean, I, I'm mean, one of my first exposures was I hurt my back pole vaulting in junior high. And I, I could hardly function. And I went into a chiropractor after, you know, suffering for, for weeks. And in one adjustment, it was that, oh, my gosh, I could breathe again. I mean, it was so bad. I'd be walking and I would turn around sometimes with my, with my fist drawn 
because it felt like someone took a pencil and was jamming it in me as hard as they could. I, there was times, literally, I would turn around ready to swing at someone because I thought like, another kid had just stabbed me with a pencil. Um, and it was gone and, uh, immediately. So, you know, uh, you know, it was like 80, 90% gone, that, that, that sharp that sharp pinch. And, and then since then, you know, obviously using that throughout my life um, has, has been absolutely um, instrumental with, with doing the Ironman, with doing a you know, sub three hour marathon, whatever the case may be, whatever I'm trying to tackle. I know it's always, always, always helped my performance um, in, in all that. So I, I really do think once people go to a chiropractor and they start making it part of the routine and they start seeing the benefits and or they just read, the, you know, they just understand the research that talks about the benefits of it short and long term, um, then to me, it, it just becomes something you're like, okay, it is, this is a good thing. You just check it off your list. Just like I get my supplements auto shipped every month. Same thing you do. Just make it part of, part of the routine because you know that that really is the insurance towards a life of, of full expression, full health, um, and more energy, more productivity, and, and really so you can show up a hundred percent. And to theme that it's not about feeling better. It's about healing better. And that's the chiropractic profession, um, in a yep. small synopsis. And now we need to think about creating a Cairo crypto coin. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Which talking about crypto, it's been it's been on the rise recently. Um, uh, one of the thing I will say, I, I know like like at the annual retreat, we're gonna be we're, we're gonna likely be talking to Gary Vee and asking him um, about crypto as well as uh, Web three NFTs and a whole host of other stuff. Which I know we gave away a couple of complimentary tickets um, the other day. Some yes, of those people had scheduling conflicts. So if you want, we can we can we can clean that up on this episode if you want. If you want to put that out there to your audience, I will share this widely again and let people know that we have three slots still available to come down to Puerto Rico, uh, April twenty fifth through twenty eighth, and join the Guardians for an intense uh, few days down there, learning about how to create more health, more wealth, and more impact. And Thaddeus, um, the more time I get with you, I feel like the more connected I get. So likewise, any, brother. I love it. It's always enjoyable. And uh thank you for letting me be your host today on episode 340. And uh thank you for being a part of this tapestry that we've created, telling the chiropractic story. Um, we've done over a thousand shows uh over the past four years, and the consistency and the volume and the messaging behind this is so real that um I close out usually by telling people you're just one story away keep hustling. That's it. I love it, man. And, and you know, it's so valuable that we share this chiropractic message and tell the story. So thank you for sharing your story today. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. And uh, looking forward to doing more of it and looking forward to seeing you in Puerto Rico. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, I'll just close out by telling everybody uh, comment below when you watch this annual retreat, and we'll make sure we get you on that list. Um, to get uh, a comp ticket to come see uh, Gary V, Thaddeus Gala, and Jim Chester uh, down in uh, beautiful Puerto Rico. And uh, I'll be sharing this wide and far. So if you guys are watching this and when you do watch this, please hit the share button, uh, send us a comment. And if you like it, like it. And if not, um, we love and appreciate you anyways. And we want you to have a great rest of your day. So Dr. Thaddeus, thank you so much for being my guest today. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. All right. Have a great day now. Thanks for listening to Cairo Hustle. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.